One, smile more and laugh often. When you laugh, several hormones are released into your body, including endorphins, which help improve mood and relieve pain. And smiling can make you feel better as well. In fact, people who smile a lot are less likely to be depressed than those who don't. So if you're feeling stressed out or down, take some time to laugh. 2. Say, thank you. Expressing gratitude not only makes the person who is being thanked feel good, but it also makes the person who said, thank you, feel good too. Good relationships depend on good communication. And one of the most important aspects of communicating is expressing your gratitude for someone else's help or support. When you say, thank you, to a friend, coworker, family member, or anyone else who has helped you somehow, you are letting them know that they made a difference in your life. Additionally, expressing gratitude helps you feel good, too. When you express thankfulness for what others have done for you, it opens up a space in your heart that gives you room to appreciate other people and be more compassionate toward them. And when you do that, others are more likely to want to help and support you as well. So when you are able, take the time to express gratitude toward those around you who have helped you in one way or another. It will make them feel good, and it will feel good for you too. 3. Be around others who are positive. Studies have shown that when you surround yourself with people who exude optimism and positivity, it rubs off on you and makes you feel better about yourself and less stressed out. Optimistic people radiate self-confidence, which is highly infectious to the people around them, making everyone feel good. 4. Smile at strangers. One of the best ways to improve your mood is to simply make eye contact and smile at a stranger you pass on the street or in a store. You'll not only put a smile on their face, but you'll also put one on yours. And if you're feeling particularly inclined, you can even try saying hello. But don't worry if they don't respond. It's not about them anyway, it's about you. Smiling at strangers is a great way to get out of your own head and do something that brings your attention to others for a moment. You'll be surprised by how much more relaxed and good you'll feel afterward. I am really grateful for every single subscriber and comment. It's true that you can't grow without engaging with your audience, so if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks in advance for any support, it means a lot to me. 5. Get a massage or other type of bodywork. Massage and bodywork are beautiful ways to relax your mind and body, which help relieve stress and promote healing. Studies have shown that the touch of another person can send oxytocin through our brains, which is why many people feel better after being hugged or even just touched gently on the arm. So if you're feeling tense and wound up, splurge on a massage or other type of bodywork like a facial, acupuncture session, or spa visit. And don't forget that you can give yourself some of this good touch by making time to practice self-care and performing DIY self-massage like this foot massage guide from Real Simple. 6. Exercise every day. Studies have shown that people who exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, three or more times a week, have lower rates of anxiety and depression than people who don't exercise. It's also been shown that aerobic exercise can increase your body's production of serotonin and dopamine, which will help you feel happier. So whether you hit the gym or just go for a 10-minute walk around your neighborhood, make it a point to get some physical activity every day. It really does lift your mood and make you feel better. 7. Get enough sleep. Studies have shown that people who get adequate sleep each night are less likely to be depressed and anxious than those who don't get enough rest. And people who doze off more quickly usually wake up feeling more refreshed, which helps improve their mood for the day ahead. So if you're often tired and stressed, getting enough sleep every night can really enhance your mood. 8. Eat foods that give you energy. We all know that junk food makes us feel sluggish and mopey, so stock up on plenty of healthy snacks like nuts, yogurt, fruits, veggies, and whole grains instead to keep your energy up. And if you feel like a snack in the afternoon, try to choose an energizing one, like trail mix or apple slices with peanut butter instead of chips and candy. Make sure your diet is healthy and balanced to have plenty of nutrients for your brain and body. 9. Try some self-hypnosis for relaxation. 
Self-hypnosis is an excellent tool for relaxation and stress management because when you're in a relaxed state, your mind can be more receptive to positive messages. Studies have shown that self-hypnosis helps reduce anxiety and depression symptoms, as well as chronic pains. You can learn how to do self-hypnosis independently with a free audio guide from the CFRE Association and the Self-Hypnosis Network. 10. Stop comparing yourself to other people. As humans, we tend to measure our success against others, but constantly feeling bad about yourself because you think you're less successful than your coworkers or neighbors can be a natural mood killer. When you measure yourself, don't compare yourself to others. Instead, compare where you are now with where you were a month ago or a year ago. It really can be motivating to see how far you've come. 11. Learn something new and set some goals. When we're busy learning new things and accomplishing things we want, we usually feel pretty happy. Studies have shown that people who know new things and set goals for themselves tend to be more satisfied than those who don't. So if you're feeling a little stagnant, pick up a hobby or take some classes. Or look for ways to add value to your work by creating plans or improving systems. 12. Stay in touch with your family and friends regularly. In the pressure cooker world of today, it's easy to let your relationships slip away from you. But studies have shown that people who stay in touch with their families and good friends daily are way less likely to feel depressed or anxious than those who don't. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or lonely, make sure you're nurturing the relationships in your life that really matter to you. 13. Don't take things so seriously. Laughter is the best medicine. And sometimes you just have to learn how to laugh at yourself. If you're feeling depressed or anxious about something that happened in your life, try not to dwell on it too much. Instead, use a humorous but gentle perspective on yourself and your situation. And don't forget the importance of enjoying that cup of coffee. 14. Stop trying to be perfect. We all want to act ideally put together at work, but in the process, we sometimes forget that it's okay to have fun and relax. And if you're worrying or stressing about imperfections in your life, remember that no one is always happy, so don't add unnecessary pressure on yourself or others by striving for perfection. You might think you're a more valuable employee or friend if you're always cheerful, but no one was ever made happy by being forced to be friendly. 15. Listen to music that makes you feel good. Whether it's uplifting rock music or Mozart, some types of music can really boost your mood. So if you're feeling sluggish, crank up the music and change your vibe. 16. Give to others as much as you can. One great way to improve both your mood and other people's is by volunteering in your community. You don't have to go overseas to do volunteer work. Just consider any organization or charity where you can contribute your time and experience. People who volunteer tend to be happier than those who don't, so give some love to others, and you'll likely get a lot of love back. 17. Be spontaneous. Sometimes we get into the habit of doing our daily activities in the same way, every day, which can make us feel like we're being held back or stuck in a rut. But studies have shown that spontaneous people tend to be happier than those who aren't. Try doing something different. Even if it's as small as getting a coffee at your favorite shop instead of brewing one at home. 18. Keep your surroundings clean and organized. Clutter can be stressful to look at, so if you're feeling overwhelmed by the clutter in your life, it's time to start purging. Start with the big stuff, like donating clothes or books that you don't need anymore. Then move towards cleaning up smaller items like files or papers. Not only will taking care of these items help you feel less stressed, but it may even give you an excellent sense of accomplishment. 19. Know that we all have bad days, so don't worry about them. If you're having a bad day or week, remember that everyone has them. But if they really bother you, make a list of past bad experiences, and think about what you learned from them. Take the time to congratulate yourself for overcoming obstacles in your life, because after all, it's okay to fail as long as you learn something new. 20. If you want to be happy, give love. Love really is the greatest healer of all, and even if it doesn't change anything else in your life, just knowing that someone loves you can help you get through your bad days. 
So find something nice to say today, whether it's telling a friend that she looks beautiful or giving a hug to someone you love. These 20 tips are some of the best ways to improve your personality.